Hey, what's going on? My name is Steve Kinney. I'm a producer and engineer. Welcome back to another edition of Luna Basics, where we cover everything from top to bottom, front to back, side to side, all things UAD Luna. Now, this is an evolving series, so as Universal Audio pushes out updates, I'm going to continue to cover those updates and the new features that they include. So be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date. And while you're at it, hit the like button. It really helps the channel. But the best way to support the channel further is to go to thestevekinney.com. I've launched a ton of new presets for the UAD2 and UADX platform. I've also completely revamped the one-on-one -on -one mentor process. So if you'd like to schedule time with me directly, now when you go to the mentor page, you can just connect via the Calendly app, share your links to projects or mixes or songs, or leave questions that you wanna have addressed in our one-on-one -on -one time. It's super easy. So find a time that works best for you and I look forward to connecting with you. All right, let's talk about the new features. All right, so right off the bat, track freeze is a massive feature and I'm surprised that UA hasn't really announced anything, uh, but it's a huge feature. So what actually does it do and why would you want to use it? Well, simply put, it essentially bounces in place your audio and then releases all system resources, DSP resources, and it's in a non-destructive manner. So if you need to change a setting, you just unfreeze the track and then you can change your setting and get back to tweaking on that particular track. So Apollo Solo users rejoice. This is a huge win for you guys. So as your session starts to build and get really big, if your system's running slower, if you haven't touched a track in you know, two sessions or you know, three hours and you know you're not gonna change it, you've moved on from the track that, you're, that you were editing on, just right click, freeze it, release those resources, and now you've got a faster, smoother session. What does it look like? Well, let's check it out. All right, so I've got my base here, and let's just say that I really wanna release the resources of this Ampeg amp. We all know that it takes a lot of DSP. What I could do is freeze up to this insert. So what I would do is either click these three dots and choose freeze up to this insert, or I could also just right click the plugin uh, and choose freeze up to this insert. And of course you can freeze up to any uh, up to any insert, but you do have to click on the plugin itself. And this is what happens when you freeze it. So if I choose freeze, you're gonna see it's rendering in the background. Again, you kind of want to think of this as like a bounce in place, but you don't have to set up any weird routing. You don't have to add a track, add a virtual track. It's just doing it all for you. All right, once it's done, you can see that the plugin GUI has now changed and you can also see that the audio itself it doesn't really it looks like it's desaturated here you don't see the black waveform it's literally looks like frozen yeah it literally <laughs> literally looks frozen I don't know uh, anyways yep so that's track freeze if you want to unfreeze it you can click right here and then there you go it brings it brings it right back. Now, one last little tidbit on track freeze is that you can freeze buses as well. Why would you want to do this? Well, let's just say that you have a reverb that is totally eating up your processing power. Say it's like Capital Chambers or something, and your track's finished. You know that you're not going to change any settings on that reverb. Well, it's the same thing. So again, you would just let's just say we have pure plate here on this bus. And again, you just right click and freeze up to the insert. And then there you go. It's, it's honestly really straightforward, super simple process, but it gives you massive results in terms of session performance as your session grows. So good job UA, love this feature. Next, let's talk about plugin favorites. Uh, so plugin favorites, obviously if you're in your plugin uh, picker or browser, um, you can you see this little star here. Basically, you just choose what your favorites are. And this is great for people who have large libraries like myself, or say you have the UADX version of a plugin and you start typing for, let's say, the 1176. You know, you might accidentally click on one of these ones down here. Well, if you star it, now you know these are the plugins that you actually have. Kind of cool, kind of helpful. And then of course you can always filter uh, your settings as well. So you choose favorites if you have them. I haven't favorited anything just yet, but let's say I favorite the AE and the A. I click favorites and now that shows up. And it's also not limited to just universal audio plugins. So I have SSL, let's say the drum strip. I like that one a lot. 
choose favorites and now that shows up as well. So it's kind of a clever way of managing what plugins that you see. Tidies up your browser window a little bit. I really like that feature. Now they've also included a feature called plugin defaults. So if I were to say, you know, load the 1176 Rev A onto this acoustic channel, say I have one of my class X presets that I use all the time. If I want one of these presets to be the default preset, every time I load up this Universal Audio Rev A, I can do that. I just choose whatever plugin that I want. And then I come over here into this browser window and I right click and I choose set default preset to uh, this particular preset. Then every time I load that particular plugin up, that preset is default. Now this is a pretty useful feature for uh, creators that really only work on their own projects. For someone like me, I'm always constantly changing settings. You know, there are a lot of times it's just starting points for me. So I, I could see this being super useful for a creator who has their chain. It's not going to change. And it really is that simple, guys. It's nothing too complex this time around. All right, guys. So if you found this video useful in the slightest, again, reminder, please hit the like button, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of these new features and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on Luna. It really does make a pretty big difference for the channel. And to support the channel further, which allows me to make more videos like this for you guys at home, go to thestevekinney.com to check out those new presets or to schedule the one-on-one -on -one time with me. I greatly appreciate it. I look forward to connecting with anyone that wants to connect with me. And until the next video, guys, cheers.